Welcome back to Retro Axis. In the continuing work that I'm doing on the Atari VCS series, uh, I'm actually right now installing virtual machines on top of the Atari VCS. So I have a Linux installation uh, running Lubuntu Linux, which is a derivative of Ubuntu. Uh, and what I'm doing is I've got the KVM hypervisor loaded up, um, which is built in. And through Vert Manager, as you can see here, I'm actually deploying uh, Debian 10 and also OpenSUSE as virtual machines simultaneously. The reason I'm doing this is I was interested to know uh, the Atari VCS's APU, the AMD CPU that's uh, built into the board, has virtualization support. And I really wanted to know, you know how, do, how do VMs run? How many VMs can you run simultaneously? What sort of performance do you get? Uh, and what are some of the use cases perhaps a virtual machine can provide? Uh, and so as you see, I've got Debian 10 going in here and also OpenSUSE. Uh, simultaneously, I'm doing these installs. I'm using uh, virtual disks on here. So far, so good, everything's working. Uh, it seems like things are a little bit slower than I would like. I do know that the Debian installation is a network-based install, so it's pulling everything down from Ethernet. And this OpenSUSE install here uh, is actually all coming off of the, off of the uh, ISO image, which I've uh, copied onto the MMC. Uh, flash drive so it is local um, so I'm hoping to get um, you know a good sense of how does this thing run VMs what other sort of things can we do um, also with the BIOS password unlocked which I just discovered earlier today uh, there's a few tweaks and features I plan to go back and look at particularly turning off the UEFI secure boot I'd like to see if I can get you know LACA or uh, Batacera or any of these other uh, distros that I couldn't get working before that didn't have a uh, signed kernel image to see if I can get them to boot on the VCS. I'm certain they will work, um, but uh, I know I've had a lot of questions about will they boot. So we'll be testing that as well. Uh, so thanks again for tuning in. We just hit a thousand subscribers. Really appreciate all of you who have been uh, you know, watching the show and supporting me. Uh, there's a lot more to come, so stay tuned. Uh, don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe. Uh, give me some comments down below on what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you next time on Retro Axis.